India is the largest milk producer of the world, producing nearly 180 million tons of milk per annum. As is well known, much of the production happens through cooperative and MSME sectors. With product diversification, there is a growing need for steam in dairy units. Steam is used in a variety of processes to promote chemical reactions and physical changes in raw milk and to help maintain clean, sterile conditions. Steam is an efficient carrier of heat. It is produced in the boiler and carried to the dairy processing plant by a pipework distribution system. Generation of steam takes place in steam boilers. The boiler is usually fueled with oil, coal or gas. Conventional boiler efficiency ranges from 80 to 85 percent and heat losses in the piping system often amount to about 15 percent. Consequently, only between 65 and 77 percent of the total thermal energy of the fuel can be utilized in the process. With growing fossil fuel cost, operating the boiler has become a challenge for the industries. The plant has been able to make a transformational change by replacing conventional fuel with solar energy. The installed system comprises eight solar water heater lines installed in parallel, each with a steam generation capacity of 40 kg per hour. Each boiler is powered by 12 parabolic troughs of 6.41 meters square collector area. There is a common feed water tank supplying water to individual water heater lines. The feed water flowing through the pipes gets heated by the concentrated rays of the sun focused through the array of parabolic troughs. The pressure on the plant steam header is maintained at 15 kg per centimeter square and the pressure control valve of solar heaters is regulated between 15.5 to 17.5 kg per centimeter square to inject steam into the main header. Concentrated solar thermal plant typically saves between 1 and 5 percent on petroleum fuel consumption. To understand the cost-benefit analysis, let us consider a solar thermal plant of 615 square meter aperture area generating 320 kg per hour of steam. The installation would lead to an energy saving of 90 to 100 tons of oil equivalent of energy, monetary savings of 20 to 25 lakh rupees, and GHG emission reduction of 240 to 250 tons of carbon dioxide emissions per year. The installation will require an investment of around 140 to 150 lakh rupees, which can be recovered within five to six years. As a part of Green Initiative in the year 2016, we installed a solar boiler having the capacity of 320 kg per hour. This boiler is working on the principle of uh, solar parabolic trough and uh, the total uh, aperture area of this solar boiler is 615 square meter. Uh, with uh, this boiler, we are saving about 50,000 cubic meter of natural gas every year. The dairy industry requires year-round hot water between 60 to 80 degrees Celsius. Hence, flat plate collectors are ideal. For vapor absorption systems, concentrated solar thermal plants fits the bill because the systems are needed in summer and when ambient temperatures exceed 30 degrees Celsius. The system would be suited for regions which get the most sunny days. The technology is widely available and supported by various government schemes. The technology is both suitable and scalable, particularly for the industries using liquid fuels for steam generation. The potential capacity of the solar thermal systems in the dairy sector is about 2.6 lakh million square meters. That is, if implemented, it would allow a huge energy saving capacity. If implemented in 25 units, the system can save around 2,200 tons of oil equivalent of energy and around 6,000 tons of carbon dioxide emissions annually.